1992, the U.S. Mint changed up the concept of proof sets. They've made one set per year up until then, but in 92 we split. For the 25th anniversary of San Francisco, we introduced this concept of clad set and silver set. And the silver has been the dominant collector set ever since, the most limited every year. Well, the 2022s are out. We have the silver. We have it even better than that. We have the silvers in 70. Take a peek at these. The top two shelves are the OGP. That's the 10-piece set, the two sleeves, brand new packaging for the U.S. Mint for this brand new program, which is Women Making History. That's the second lens on the right. And then the second product, which we're going to put the graphic up here in a minute, is for the certified 70s set. That's on the bottom. We'll get there. Trust me, we will get there. So we have this brand new series out this year, Women Making History. We saw state quarters from 99 to 09, 11 years. We saw national parks from 2010 through last year, 21, 12 years. And now we have a brand new series out for four years only, a very short series, 20 coins altogether, this being year one. This is the rarest version. These are the silver proofs. Silver proofs. Now, as of right now, they're at 173,000 and change, which is one of the lowest mintages in a long time. And my competition's at 175 for that OGP. We're at 139.95. And then the set in 70. And you're seeing the holy grail part of it right there. The five-piece Women Making History set are hand-signed by the very first ever chief engraver of the U.S. Mint as a female, Elizabeth Jones. So talk about a great set. Now make it better. And all the quarters this year have a brand new design on the reverse. This is Laura Frazier's design going back to 1932. At the last minute, they replaced this design with John Flanagan's design, which we've been seeing for the last 75, give or take. So this year, we have a brand new series and a brand new Washington design. These are the silver versions. There are seven coins. Seven coins in this set that are silver. The dime, the half dollar, five quarters. My competition is selling the five quarters across the bottom in 70 for $3.99. The closest to us has it at $5.99 for the 10 coin set. But their quarter set is a quarter set. Ours is five hand-signed coins from Elizabeth Jones. And there were $100 less. The other network had it at $7.99 for a hand-signed set. That was the PCGS set, and that's the president of PCGS, who was the first female president of one of the certification services. Love the set. It's great. But it's $300 more than this one. And this one is signed by the first chief engraver of the U.S. Mint as a female, Elizabeth Jones. Now, John Mercanti, you might know his name, the designer of the reverse of the Silver Eagle, he replaced her. You're also looking at the label, that silver bar label, this exclusive label, 10-coin silver proof set on the miners, but we left the Elizabeth Jones signature as the quarter set. But you'll notice it also says 10 coin silver set inside of this. It ties the 10 coins together. Now, here is some craziness on 70s. Craziness, craziness. Silver quarter sets in 70. The quarter set came out two months before the regular full proof set. There are only 1,405 of them known in 70 condition. That's the bottom five inside of the set. But then the most limited coin in all of these currently is the nickel. And here's the craziest part about that. The nickel, the cent, the nickel, and the Sacagawea are the same coins in the clad set and the silver set. So that's taking both of those and combining them together to get these crazy numbers. There are 1,847 cents, 
There are 1,268 nickels. There are 2,199 sacks in 70. The clads were issued earlier this year. And again, those three are common threads. So 1,268 sets between clad and silver are all that are known in 70. Competition again, 599 without the special signature quarter set. So $100 more and an inferior product. And then for a hand signed set, but that's the PCGS version, they're $300 more. Any way you slice it, the low mintage so far this year at 173,000 sets, and we're already a good curve in, means this set's going to be special. So at 139.95 versus versus right the 175 great deal but then on the certified side wow so we had the exclusive label the silver bar label one of the more popular silver proof set labels that are out there and that ties up the cent nickel dime half dollar and sacagawea in the top five and then the five coin silver women making history proofs all individually signed by elizabeth jones Crazy price, crazy opportunity. Again, first chief engraver of the U.S. Mint as a female. All individually signed by her, all five quarters. And that's inside of the set. And we're still less money by a hundred, not a couple of bucks. Signature to signature, we are $300 less. So the proof set in silver, it's the one the bank. Low numbers already, we know that. But the 70 sets at this low price. Considering our competition sells just the quarters for 400. Where can you buy the dime and the half dollar in silver for under 100? Oh, and by the way, the cent, the nickel, and the sack for 100? That, hey, hey, that's not happening. Phones are very busy. Thank you so much for joining us on this one. ABCcoins.com is the way to go. Whether it's the set in the original government packaging, that's the top two shelves, two lenses, certificate, and outer box. 905-9781, or with the certified 70 set, all 10 coins tied with 10 coin silver set on the label. The top five, or what we call the miners, are all in the beautiful silver bar label from NGC, but the bottom, the first year of issue in the brand new Women Making History program, all of these are individually signed by Elizabeth Jones. As a bonus, 10 of them. $499.95. That means you're under $50 a coin. Where can you find any of these for under that price? I love it. Guys, one minute clock. Thank you so much. So again, the uniqueness of the silver set in 70 is this. Seven silver coins. But the other three are not silver, which means they're also in the clad set. That's the secret. The scent only 1847 are certified in 70 so far by NGC. They're grading like crap. Not that one, that's a perfect ultra cameo. Then the nickel, 1268, combined, clad set and silver set. And then the Sacagawea, or in this case, Eli Parker, the person who crafted the surrender documents for the end of the Civil War on President Grant's staff, only 2199. The silver quarters, 1405. The silver dime, 1609. They haven't posted the silver half dollar yet, or I'd give that to you as well. But all of these tiny numbers, only a thousand or so known to exist inside of a set that's even more special. And it's only 499, saving a bundle compared to that of our competition. 599 for a generic set and 799 for an autograph set. Yet our autograph said it's tied to a significant part of U.S. history. This is all about women making history, and Elizabeth Jones made history by being the first engraver of the U.S. Mint, replaced by who again? Mercanti. Prior to her, remember Frank Gasparro, the designer of the Kennedy? Yeah, he was before her. She was in the middle of those two greats, herself being great. Thanks for joining us, but it is time to be moving on.